Mr. President, fantastic to see you as always. And a very big announcement you made today with Mazda and His Excellency Sultan Al Jaber. Can you please tell us a little bit more information what your plans are? Yes, it's really a remarkable event, which actually demonstrates our green agenda and also demonstrates that Azerbaijan is attractive not only for those who invest in fossil fuels, but also for those who invest in renewables. Mazda is our strategic partner in the area of renewable energy. Last October, we already inaugurated the first solar power station of 230 megawatts. And today, groundbreaking ceremony for free solar and wind stations of total capacity of one gigawatt. And this is only the beginning because uh, we plan to implement all the contracts and MOUs, and that means up to 10 gigawatt in uh, mid-term and up to 5 gigawatt until 2030. That's our target. Potential is here. You can see the sun. The ambition. The ambition and also the wind. So, and uh, good investment climate. And it really demonstrates how a country which uh, generated wealth from fossil fuel now is channeling this uh, wealth into the renewable energy. And as a host country of COP29, this is also our obligation to be among the front runners on green transition. What are the challenges when you have traditional energy sector and making that transition into the new green renewable energy? Well, actually, it's uh, as every new endeavor, it's full of uncertainties. Uh, but we have great partners. Mazda, as I said, is a strategic partner, but we have also Aquapower. We have BP, in my view, investors, and many more uh, companies uh, from different countries which are planning to work with us. So uh, in oil and gas, we know the whole alphabet. Here we just start. Therefore, the challenges could be with uh, national energy grid because we need to reinforce it to be able to absorb as much as we can offer to uh, investors. Another challenge is with respect to the transmission lines because here we need to work actively with our neighbors because Azerbaijan itself will not need as much renewable uh, energy as we plan to produce. So our target is export. And also to have a very sophisticated approach on um, using renewables to maximum degree to produce electricity and saving natural gas, sending it to those who need it now, primarily in Europe. So many things which we need to tackle uh, those which are solely depend on our internal agenda, I have no doubt they will be fully implemented. Those which need international uh, partnership, we of course need to work with our partners. Well, over 300 representatives from over 37 countries here at Baku Energy Week. That just goes to show the commitment from other companies and why this conference is a global leader within the energy sector, yes? I think so. Actually, the fact that it is for 30 years already, the first was uh, organized back in 1994. The second, the growing number of participants, whether you look at geography of the countries or number of companies. Not many energy events have an honor yeah. to uh, be addressed by President of the United States. And uh, it is throughout all the years of this event. And this actually demonstrates its uh, unique origin and um, capacity. Uh, so all this actually makes this event, to my mind, the most advanced and the most uh, uh, inclusive uh, platform to address different issues. And the way how it transformed, the first Caspian oil exhibition, then when we started to produce gas, Caspian oil and gas exhibition and conference. Then when we started to work on renewables, it became Baku Energy Week, which embraces different sectors. So in one country, 
in a relatively short period of time, you can see success story on every track. Natural gas, uh, fuel oil, and now green energy. And by order of special decree, you announced that this year really is one for unity, isn't it, in terms yes. of coming together? Exactly. And that's our one of the main targets for us as a host country, to create unity and solidarity and to create such a positive atmosphere at COP. And later, after we will continue as a president, uh, so that countries and companies would love to work together and put down uh, mutual claims, concentrate on main agenda, how to save the plant. Mr. President, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank for your you time very much. Thank you. Thank you.